have the brisket trimmed nicely, so now I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to do half the beef tallow mop and beef tallow paper. The other half, I'm going to do my full-on competition. So let me just have to cut it right in the middle here. So the reason I cut it in the middle is so I, I can get the same result from one brisket, so there's less variability. Because somebody's going to complain that, Harry, you cook two briskets. How can you compare the two? Nope, I just cook one brisket cut in half using two different methods. So this is as close to a kind of a control sample I can do. For those of you nerdy people out there who want to see a control sample, this is as close as I can get. All right, I'm going to trim the rest of this, inject it on one, and then on the other, we're just going to cook it with the beef tallow mop, beef tallow paper. such a ginormous chef knife, a 12 and a half inch, 27 ounce Dell Strong Devastator chef knife to trim brisket. This is because I'm doing a 30 day Dell Strong challenge. I'm living with this chef knife to do everything, every task in my kitchen, shooting all my videos for 30 days. So that video is going to be called uh, I used the Devil Dell Strong Devastator for a month and I did not kill myself. This is a Humango Rambo knife. It's, it's really, really heavy. It's razor sharp and I've been using it for everything on my channel for a month and that's going to be in a separate video in case you want to watch that. What it's like to live with a knife this size, doing everything from deba work, nakiri work, yinagi bar work, chef work, utility knife work, and so on. Boning knife and chopper all in one. So I've been using this knife exclusively for 30 days. We showed you guys how to sharpen it. We showed you guys how to maintain the knife and how to use such a big knife. I I developed some biceps and muscles, so that's good. So I guess it's kind of like a workout, but uh, this knife is a joy to use. This one, we're going to cook full on Harry's competition method. This one, we're going to cook using the beef tallow mop, beef tallow paper. Before we get the briskets into the pit, I'm going to put a little bit of au jus prep. This is a technique that we pros use to supercharge the flavor in the brisket. You can get this from uh, soupbase.com and they are my co-packer. And uh, this product here will allow you to supercharge the flavors on your brisket. I'm just going to create a little smear to make it wet before I put my product, my rub on before we smoke it. In this episode, I am actually doing a full-on competition, half briskets against the comparison of using the beef tallow mop and beef tallow paper. Let's season the brisket. I'm going to be using my first place USA beef rub. You can use any rub you want, but this test is not about the product, it's about the cooking method. Mop it. We're gonna spray the uh, brisket with, I can't believe it's not butter, this is my recipe. Wrap in butcher paper with the beef tallow. So this one is going to be the tallow mop with tallow paper against my Slap Your Daddy competition foil with the mop. Let's see if it's better. So this is um, my version of a uh, brisket. So we'll see my technique is comparable to the actual tallow, whether it's a tallow mop or tallow wrap. Let's see if it works. Only way to do is to find out. For those of you who are watching my video, you guys will notice that any computer science people, uh, you know that this actual method of comparing A versus B and then the winner moving forward is actually a computer science algorithm. And uh, if you're a freshman computer science major, you'll learn something called a bubble sort. A bubble sort is to basically sort a bunch of parameters so that the highest number or the lowest number gets on top. So you compare one against two and you take the bigger of one of two, you compare against number three. And then you pick the biggest one and you compare against number four and so on. So 
This technique that you see me do here, this is test number four, is kind of the same as a computer algorithm. So for those of you who have already guessed, the way I win competitions, I cook by brute force. So I try recipes again and again and again to find incremental improvements in the recipe. And I take it to a contest. If it does well, I'll do it. And then I'll try another recipe against it. If I like the recipe better, I'll take it to the contest. So what you see me do here literally in 10 seconds could be the result of 10,000 hours of trial and error. What we're trying to do here today in this episode and previous episode is the reproducibility of experimental results. And uh, we started off with Jeremy Yoder's uh, tallow hypothesis and uh, we're extending it to different combinations to see which one reigns supreme. So this one will be the uh, Slap Your Daddy competition brisket against the tallow wrap and tallow mop recipe. See which one's reigns supreme. And some of you are going to say already it's not a fair fight because this is a foil. Yes, I know. So, you know, this is more anecdotal. You only get two data points from this test. So nothing to go be right home about to be statistically valid. This is not statistically valid, but it's a lot of fun to be able to experiment, see if you can up your game. So I have my little foil boat. You've seen all my tricks. There's 50 videos on how to cook brisket. I already put out all my black belt tricks. So we do this and I fold over, do with my three-sided wrap here. All right, let's stick the sticker on it. This is going to be the Slap the Daddy foil. And this is the tallow mop and tallow wrap version here. And we'll put it all together, let it cook and get happy so that it's tender. And we can have drum roll and do our taste test. Put the mop here. Make sure we get lots of tallow. So it's a fair test. So I'm mapping, I'm foil and 10 ounce mop versus beef tallow mop, beef tallow paper. All right, here's the uh, tallow wrap and tallow mop. And uh, you can see the appearance is pretty good. This one is the uh, Slap Your Daddy competition brisket. So also pretty good. So side by side comparison, you can decide which one you like better. This is the tallow mop and tallow wrap. This is the Slap Your Daddy competition style. So you can see the difference here in appearance uh, and you can decide which one you like better. So let's do the taste test, which is kind of what the exercise is about to see which is the better cooking technique and taste the Tallow wrap, tallow mop. Very good. Alright, went through one round of tasting. Let's go second round. Alright, we need to draw some conclusions now between uh, my competition style mop, which is uh, using the beef broth as well as the, uh, I can't believe it's not butter, against the tallow mop and then using the beef tallow wrap. So verdict, I think they're both uh, quite comparable given that we use the same brisket cut in half using the same wrap. So I think that the, I can't believe it's not butter, serves the same sort of purpose as the tallow mop itself. So whether you paint beef tallow on your brisket while you're cooking, or you spray it with, I can't believe it's not butter. Both seem to work well. When it comes to wrapping the beef broth wrap in foil versus the butcher paper wrap with tallow, honestly, I, I think it's a kind of a toss up. Uh, in this particular one data point sample, it's really hard to draw anything conclusive. So I say it's, it's a draw in terms of the technique. So if you use a tallow on the mop tallow on the wrap, it gives you a good result. So do I recommend doing that? Yes, I do recommend doing both the tallow mop tallow wrap. That is better than, in my opinion, than just the tallow wrap, which is how we started this journey several videos ago. <laughs> so uh, I can think of more combinations I want to try. Hopefully you guys like this video and uh, it's not over until Mr. Bean say so. <laughs> Mr. Beans, you ready to try? Okay, let's give him a shot. Give me some food here. All right, here we go, Mr. Beans. Give you a little bit of my competition recipe and a little bit of the tallow mop and tallow wrap here. 
Okay, he went for my mock first with the uh, Cambodian nut butter. Yeah, he ate mine both in a row. So there you go. So uh, a little tiny sample here and uh, the experiments will continue. So for now, it looks like using tallow on the mop and tallow on the wrap helps. So you guys want to try that at home, please do so. Let me know if you like it. Leave me any questions in the comments below of any other combinations of recipes you want to try. I can think of at least two more combinations of recipes that I need to try to up my game on my competition brisket. Maybe I'll use my competition products like uh, the I Can't Believe It's Not Butter and the beef mop with the tallow mop and the tallow wrap to see this might up my game even more. Thanks for stopping by, watching this episode. Shout out to my Patreons for helping me keep the lights on. If you find value in what I do, please consider patreon.com slash Sue. Go check out all the behind the scenes content, exclusive videos, and much, much more. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.